So how can we make a quick PDF from a Word document? I don't even have to make a PDF while I'm in Word. I just leave it as Word. And then the easiest way I find is to go File, Create, Create Form. Then I just need to select a file and find my Word document. Click Open. And this, and then when I click Start, it's going to actually create a PDF with fillable form fields all done for me. Now, depending on how big the document is, it might take a while for it to fill in all these form fields. It might take 30 seconds to even two minutes. So don't get too eager and pretty soon your form will pop up and you'll notice all of these, which are the form fields. Now, a lot of the times the form fields will be missing, but you'll notice that the forms already popped up. Now, if it didn't, for example, you can click on prepare form over here or remember that's always you can go back to your tools and find the prepare form that way. So when I'm in prepare form, I'll see these tools across the top and I can add all these different form fields um, that might be missing. For example, maybe I need a form field here. I can click on the text form field and I can click and drag and voila, I have another form field. If I wanted a drop down menu, a radio button, a checkbox, any of these, I can just click and drag and place this item on my form. Now, you'll also notice besides these fields across the top, you also have ways to align, match the size, and also the tab order for your fields. So let's say that these two need to be aligned and you want them to be the same size. So you need to select them both using the control key or, like me, I like to just click and drag. And then both items are selected and I want to match size, height, and width. And um, I can also align them both on the left or center. I can do lots of different things. So now they're both exactly the same size and they're check boxes. Um, there are lots of other things we can do. Uh, the drop down is a good one. Um, we do this on the drop down, click on all properties. And then underneath the options, we add the items that people will drop down and choose. And you'll see them in the list. Now, my last slide item is pull down for your choice or something like that. And I click add and then I make sure that that one is highlighted because that is the default item which will be showing up at the top. So I'm going to click close now. And at any time when I want to check my form, I can click on preview. And I'll just double check that these things are actually working and working the way I want them. And if the pull down is working, maybe I need to resize this so I can see the items that I want in the pull down. Any time that I need to fix anything, I simply click back on edit and then I can pull things out and resize them, rechange them. Um, and I just continue adding my items and previewing it to make sure that it works right.